Hi again, this will be a short and shaky video on Cambridge Audio DVD 89 uh, DVD, Super Audio CD and CD Reader. Um, I wanted to share some uh, things that you might find interesting and maybe you, if you own that kind of player you'd like to make it sound better and play your CDs better and your Super Audio CDs better. So. This will be my help, helpful pointer for this movie because I'll be showing you a couple of things. Okay, so what can you do to make it sound better using uh, audio outputs for or audio outputs for all channels? Uh, the capacitors that are placed here for all of the surround channels uh, are a cheap um, non-brand that I don't know I, what kind of capacitors is this. They are 10 uh, microfarads, 16 volts each, and they are old, and they have never been a really good quality to begin with. I replaced them, all of them, with Nichicon Fine Golds with the same capacitor, 10 microfarads, microfarads. Okay. You can see it here, I hope somewhere here, yeah. But these ones are rated for 50 volts. And it's perfectly fine because this is higher rating than 16 volts that was here, and even uh, even that 16 volts here was uh, rated with uh, some additional range. It's not needed. Anyway, this was the first move to replace all of the capacitors with uh, fine Nichicon fine golds. The next move was to solder some uh, Vima MKP10 bypasses. These are capacitors, foil capacitors, and I have soldered them underneath uh, the board uh, using the solder points for these capacitors. They just wouldn't fit here uh, on the upper side. I had to uh, place them underneath the board, uh, lying flat with the board like that. Uh, so that was the second move. The third move uh, was uh, to study the schematics. And the schematics say that this separate left and right uh, output is basically linked to front channel's output. It's shorted. So these two sets of FCA jacks are giving always exactly the same signal uh, coming uh, from the same set of outputs of digital audio converter, which is here. This is Crystal, crystal uh, 4360 uh, chip and it has some nice parameters which you cannot say by listening to this uh, player stock. After the caps it's completely uh, different sound. It's very transparent, it's very dynamic and it's uh, very airy. So this is a must to do. The additional polyester film caps uh, gave this additional touch of detail on top uh, you could get, you could also go with film caps uh, with uh, when you will be replacing this um, electrolytic caps but I don't think that this number of uh, capacitors of this size would be fitting inside easily this one is by the way this one is Three microfarads, so 10 microfarads would be even bigger. Anyway, after looking at the schematics, you can see that it's possible to get uh, better quality output uh, by passing uh, output uh, muting stage and uh, output uh, transistor stage. Because basically the chip, the specification for the DAC chip says that you can get uh, output straight uh, after the first uh, filter, the first capacitor that goes uh, and works as a DC filter here. Uh, so I've uh, identified uh, right and left channel capacitors. I've cut the legs of the connectors that were going to the board and I've connected the outputs 
of the connectors directly to the minus leg of these two capacitors. Let's okay, let's have it like that. This one is for the right channel, and this one is for the left channel. And I've connected the cables to the minus legs of these capacitors. I hope you can see that what I'm pointing here. Okay, I cannot show you this in more detail because the last stage would was to add some Vishai MK P1857 capacitors. Yes, these are these ones are 100 nanofarads, and uh, I'd say they are about the same class as these uh, Rima ones. Uh, but uh, these have additional interesting uh, value to them because they are giving um, when used in uh, as a bypass. They are giving a kind of more holographic sound stage. So they are not necessarily uh, here, but I thought I'll add them to have this additional touch of uh, detail and holographic sound stage when using two channel output only. So the idea is that uh, right now uh, the signal, uh, audio signal from DAC goes through the first set of filters, DC filters here, and after the filters, after the first capacitor, uh, it goes two ways. The first one is using this uh, Teflon coated silver plated wire straight to the first set of outputs. And the second one is uh, using PCB board circuit to the second set of uh, outputs. So if I'm listening to my music in stereo only, I'll have a little bit better signal coming straight from here. If I'm listening to my Super Audio CDs uh, mixed in multi-channel mode, I'll be using these outputs and uh, they'll be a tad bit less holographic than this, but still great and still way, way, way better than it was in the uh, device uh, untouched. You could always think about doing uh, snippet bypass uh, for all channels, it's possible, uh, but I left it as it is because I don't think I'll be listening to that much uh, multi-channel series. Uh, what's also interesting is that uh, Łukasz Fikus, a well-known Polish constructor responsible for Lampizator brand, um, have also been modifying uh, this uh, CD, this DVD player, and I found this relevant info on his uh, webpage. He was uh, also suggesting to bypass the output stages and just do a snippet connection to, uh, to the outputs. But uh, his solution was to drill two additional holes around here in the backplate, and to place here additional left and right channel outputs. I decided against this because there's no point uh, in drilling another set of holes and getting another set of outputs uh, when uh, while we have two sets of identical RCA jacks connected to the same points on the board already here. Uh, but uh, yes, the credit goes to Lampizator. And I can only highly recommend this mod if you'll be able to find this player because it's rather old, though it still looks beautiful and it still sounds great because it's almost 20 years old and I think I've seen uh, just uh, five or six of them on uh, British eBay. So if you find one of them it's a very simple, a very quick job to make them sound way, way better, on par with uh, top-of-the-line C players. Okay, so enjoy your day, 
have a nice morning, uh, evening or midday and uh, see you soon.